Hello my succulent friends, it's me, Suze. So it's afternoon and uh, I've been out walking the dogs and uh, had a bite to eat for lunch, so that is good. I didn't make a video yesterday, that should have been day three, right? And this is day four of our so-called snap lockdown, which uh, every Victorian right now is holding their breath because I don't think it's just going to be seven days. Anyway, so I just couldn't be bothered yesterday. But um, it's been very, very cold in the mornings. I think that the other night it got down to one degree. I'm talking in Celsius. Um, but it's a bright sunny day at the moment, which is nice. It's top of 16 degrees. But yeah. Definitely uh, chilly. It's very hard to get motivated to do some little projects in this season, but uh, it does feel like a nice afternoon to do something. Okay, I'm finally at my workstation. This is an achievement just standing here because I've been so unmotivated. So I have the uh, crystal, I'm calling it a Graptivaria crystal. This is from the supplier collector's corner. But really, it is a purple delight. So I got it because, well, I already have some, but I wanted to propagate this, and this was uh, $9. So I thought that's not bad, and it's quite a nice, healthy one. So I want to take off the top and use that as a cutting and leave some, leave some lower leaves on and... Um, Hopefully we can encourage the bottom half of the plant to give us some new babies. So I've removed one leaf to have an access spot to get in there. Now, I just sharpened up my knife. I don't, I'm not that good at doing that. Um, so hopefully I've got it sharp enough, but I'm pretty sure this will be pretty easy to cut into. Just trying to get in between the leaves without damaging them is uh, what makes it a bit tricky. Keep that leaf, okay. Some people are very fond of using the fishing line and stuff. Um, it's not really my thing, though I've seen how effective it can be. So please don't tell me you should sure use fishing line. <laughs> I'm aware of it. Um, okay. So I chopped into this leaf. I'm not happy about that. Oh well. So we might, I might just take off a couple because these propagate from leaf cuttings really, um, really easily. Oh. I don't want to lose too much size but I'll just do it. I overthink these things too much. Do you do that? Okay, that's pretty good. This one is a bit no, not good. Take that off as well, so that one's rubbish. Trash, it's trash. I should repot this. Ugh. Huh. So, yeah, I think I will. Oh, let's get a tray. So I was at the uh, local shopping center. Have one really close by to me. Big one too. Um, anyway. I went up there to Woolies, it's one of our supermarket chains here in Australia. Um, pick up some groceries and far out was it a ghost town. So sad, so sad what they're doing to us again. But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, we're clearly going for, anyway, I don't know. I don't know what to think. 
good and it's bad. I see the necessities of the lockdown because it, it did work. It did work at last time, but at what cost? Anyway, stop, stop, stop. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm, I'm fine. It's, it's all the heartbreaking stories you hear on the news. You know, if we get you, what's this? It's a new baby. It's, it's a bit unusual. It's pretty good um, soil actually. It's, it's quite gritty and you know, it's not, it's, they're not using cheap stuff here. But it's always good to check your soil for, for new plants you get because you never know what you'll find in there. Okay. I probably could have left it in there. It was pretty good actually. But never mind. It's always good to check. So when I took the dogs down to the park, it felt like everyone was down there. <laughs> anyway, we had a bit of fun. The dogs really enjoy their time now. Just um, put a bit of cinnamon on, on the wound. So I've been getting into the Veronica's the music, the Veronica's. Yeah, it's never been somebody I've listened to before. I've heard them on the radio and stuff, but they're on um, Celebrity um, Apprentice. And I guess they're flogging off a new album, but um, sort of drained all my favourite songs I usually listen to. Anyway, we'll just put those leaves in there, the propagation leaves, and um, see how that goes. Oh, I forgot to put cinnamon on there. Anyway, yeah, they're flogging off a new album, so I, I went on Spotify to have a listen to a few of their songs. I've actually been enjoying it. It's, it's been quite good, actually. So I remember those cuttings I took a couple of days ago. Um, tips are starting to get a little bit more intense. <laughs> I was reviewing my video or when I was editing it or something and when I said I guarantee you there'll be uh, the stress colours will come out in them um, soon. So I was thinking some I was thinking, oh yeah, knowing my luck they won't do it. <laughs> because I said I'll I'll show you in a couple of days. So it's only been one day. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Oh my god. Tackle this tray. It has been sitting here for weeks. Feels like weeks. It probably is weeks. At least two. It's in its second week or something like that. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Let me just get organised. Rightio, I'll just put that aside. So I basically want to cut off the nice top bits as cuttings. So start with that and then I'm just going to propagate the remaining stuff. So as I told you, there was some slug damage or some sort of insect damage on a lot of them. But I'm thinking something like this I will actually use as a cutting as well because it will root up and something will probably grow on, on it. Um, or I'm sure there will be a lot of leaves at the end of this process that I can use as single leaf props as well. It's 
such a beautiful um, succulent when it grows really full and it did look really nice in my garden. It's had, it's had good stages and bad stages. Um, and it, it looks like I took out most of it, but believe it or not, there's still some really big stuff out there. It's, but it looks a bit, um, a bit chopped up, a bit mutilated. <laughs> don't have a lot to discuss really my life so mundane and um, and sometimes that I, I, I uh, you know I feel a bit of pressure to you know be on <laughs> but normally I am actually a very quiet person um, just in general I'm not a big chatterbox type believe it or not. I can be. Depends on my moods, I guess everybody's a bit like that, right? Right. That's a nice one. Ooh, just got a lot. Sedums are really good because when you uh, take a, a leaf somewhere like that, it's, it's, it's a very high chance you'll get a baby there. And I'm also looking to see if there's too much elongation because it's, it's not good to have a cutting that's already elongated. There was this um, there's this tip that some of you might enjoy experimenting with if you don't know it already. Hold on a moment. So a lot. So in in the theme of the principle that I just was talking about if you take a leaf off usually a baby will grow in that in that spot in front of that nodule or they call them nodules don't they so this if you want to encourage more growth and not remove leaves just twist on your plant just twist a little bit we you hear a bit of the snap but leave it attached, not don't take it off completely, and that spot there's a good chance a baby will grow there as well. Yes, yeah, so I have experimented with that in the past. Oh, golly gosh, I need my blower. Oh, there's other stuff under here, I didn't even realize. Yeah, so that tip with just twisting it a little bit and like having it half sort of just detached is a fun one to play with. Uh, and I think it works well on the fat leaved ones. So poor Evelyn. In, in the ACT, that's the Australian Capital Territory. Um, I had no idea how it gets so frosty there. I never paid any mind to their forecast on the news because I didn't know anybody who lived there until now. And Evelyn was working really hard at the tail end of summer to be frost ready by putting up shade cloth and that sort of things and just creates a little bit of structure for uh, succulents and some protection and uh, now I actually stop and 
pay attention to the weather and far out minus six and four couldn't believe it I mean they're higher up in the on the in in the country like we're more south than she is she's more central but I guess something about that location um, they get frost there anyway so uh, like I said here we had a low temperature the other night to one degree which was a, a record for this time of year so so much for uh, global warming everyone's panicking about global warming <laughs> yeah I think uh, I think people are misinterpreting the science personally I think it's going to be global cooling you've got to watch out for more but anyway I'm no expert but that's what I think such a nice colour. Do you remember seeing it in my other video I showed you in my uh, barrel planter? And uh, I can see why they call it golden, golden glow, golden goddess, because it just gets a beautiful, lovely, warm colour to it. But it kind of does glow a little bit, and that's nice. Got a little offset there. <laughs> I think with the scraggly bits left over, I definitely want to pop them all up together and create another growing spot rather than my front garden to chop up. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh god, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a spider in there. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Oh god, I'm singing again. Let's get really yucky ones. This would be a nice piece to grow by laying down and then it will grow some roots probably along here and I'll probably continue to whoop, you know what I mean so there we go there are all the heads there's quite a lot so I will probably just leave these hang out for a while somewhere um, until I start seeing some roots then I shall pot those up And this is what remains. It's nice and sunny in the afternoon down here. That's so those scraggly bits that are left over. I want to use them like I have here. And these are all scragglies as well. But you can see I've got some new heads there. There's popping up some new ones. This one here is a cutie. And in there is a cutie. So it'll be just another resource to get cuttings from and um, nice new heads and so forth. These are the Pat's Pinks if you're curious. Okay, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and obviously no daylight savings. So um, it'll be dark in a couple of hours. Anyway, ah, oh, right, okay, so since I can't go and buy another planter box at Bunnings because of a lockdown, obviously there's click and collect, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I've just got one of my, one of these um, meat trays, 
I actually go out of my way to buy food in meat trays so I have extra shakes. <laughs> um, anyway, so I filled that up with soil. I put sprinkled some systemics in there um, as a preventative because these bugs do like these. Obviously, I've got slug damage. Mealies like them too. So I'm basically just going to create a tray to put all these remaining pieces in um, as, a, as a resource, as a place to grow. Uh, new heads and so forth um, and really you know why waste these bits when you can get stuff out of them that's the way I see it waste not want not you know um, and these larger pieces I'm going to cut them up even smaller this, I bet you I can fill this trap really quickly and we'll keep an eye on this too. And you might uh, be inspired to do something similar. It's a great way to multiply them quickly. As you're probably thinking, how did I get so many pieces? Well, I grew this. In, I've been growing this in my front garden, my front yard. For those who are new to my channel, I have a front yard where I grow succulents in the ground. I grow in pots out the back here and I had a very I have a very mature um, plant of it out there but um, I don't spend as much time trying to keep that front yard manicured as much as I used to because it's I just there's just not enough for me to do to do that so now it's a bit of a resource I'm, I'm treating it more like a farm I mean, it still looks good don't get me wrong um, and I know a lot of you like to see it but um, I may insert some photos uh, but I'm not comfortable getting my camera out there and filming because um, I don't know you know it's, especially now it's locked down everyone's home you just feel like a retard <laughs> well, I do anyway I'm going to cook some fish tonight. I'm going to fry some fish. I think it's snapper. I bought some frozen snapper. I think we'll have it with a, a nice salad. Good. So if you, if you um, do a similar thing to what I'm doing now, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you're inspired to try it, let me know and keep me updated. So I do like to hear how you're progressing. Um, honestly, I do. It helps validate me, you know, because I, I'm, I'm just in my backyard talking to nobody. <laughs> um, so, you know little interaction with um, others is good. This is not a pretty head but I'll just throw it in here somewhere. Okay, I think we're going to fit it all in which is good. Off camera I was thinking oh I should talk about insert whatever um, but now that I got the camera rolling of course I can't recall. <laughs> Such is the way isn't it? So how about the, to, uh, to the American viewers, are you guys enjoying spring? You know, it's, it's like when I'm on Instagram, you can nearly tell which ones are from the Northern Hemisphere. Oops, I dropped one in there. Um, because of the light in the photos, all the photos look really bright and it just looks warm all the <laughs> and like the I don't know I just I reckon I can spot them but uh, you can I can also tell that the people enjoying spring because there's a lot of photos of um, flowering succulents and people are just you know enjoying that so there we are here we go so we'll keep an eye on this um, might just lightly 
a little cinnamon on top. Mmm, <sighs> the aroma is so good. Right. Oh, oh, I got a good whiff of it then. Oh, now. So, and these are the leaves that are left. Some of them have been chewed up. Be interesting to see if they take off. I don't know. So, I'll put them in a tray. Maybe we'll do that now. What kind of size tray do I need? So, I've just got a bit of crushed rock because that's the medium I like to use with leaves. Leaves. Um, it's mainly because I've got a big bag full of it. Just don't want to waste soil. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Instead of lighting them up. You're terrible, Muriel. Yep, I'm happy with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how I do my trays. I can't be bothered lining them up. Right, so I'll just leave these in here for now. Like maybe about a week and then I'll come and inspect them and see if we've got any roots and then I'll pot, pot them up. Wow, there's quite a few lovely little ones in there. I'm pretty pleased about this. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about the um, caterpillars. Now they've been frustrating me lately. Um, it is a bit funny. It's a little bit amusing, the cat and mouse game I have with them, where I chase them, I go and looking for them every morning. But I'm not too worried because it is seasonal. It seems to happen like once or twice a year they seem to emerge and then uh, uh, after a couple of weeks has passed they're gone and I don't see them again for a while so I'm not really worried about them. Um, and I'm pretty sure when I find them I think they're pretty freshly emerged out of their little thing where they've been growing and hiding. Anyway there we are. So between this and this, two trays, trays of the heads, trays of the remaining not so pretty pieces, some leaf propagation and also I have these two big ones. So this is the uh, shelf in front of my work table. So I've got dedicated a whole shelf to them. So there's the heads, this is a tray of the uh, stemmy bits, the two big ones and the leaf propagation. And while we're looking at this sort of stuff this is worth um, having a quick squeeze at, quick look. Um, this tray is the uh, tricolours, Graptiveria tricolours and as I knew it would. Look at that one, isn't that so sweet? Um, it's thrown off heaps of cute babies now and you can see that that is the uh, crushed rock and it's working just fine. In actual fact they are rooting up in there. So I went to get my tweezers so I can show you. Just, I was looking at it earlier. See? It's already rooting up in there. So I don't want to disturb it too much, but this crush rock works just fine. I'm actually okay, I'm okay with watering them now, but um, I'd rather just aim the water. It's a bit tricky filming this, where the little babies are only. But usually I'm very um, lazy when it comes to taking care of my babies and I don't really bother with watering. So I've even got a bunch of leaves just <laughs> floating around here. I don't know what they are. I just sort of randomly pull them off and collect them and put them to the side. And the Supremes are looking good too. See, I haven't really watered this either.
See, what a junkyard. It's disgusting. Weeds and stuff everywhere. But this is a big red. <laughs> and it's got a pup there and a pup there. And the main big head is all squished up. But look at, look at this. Is that a variegation? That's nuts. Can't be real. Something's wrong with that leaf, right? <sighs> I don't know. So very soon I will take off all these blooms to propagate. I'm actually holding on to them for the birds. Um, I haven't used systemics down here. I just, just don't see the point. It's just too much going on. But um, when I do do that, I will remove these pups and we will have a better look at this leaf. I swear, it does look variegated. Huh. It doesn't feel unhealthy. It's very firm, and there's another pup under there. So I'm going to I'm going to cut them all out, and then over here, what? A, look at this! Look at this big long flower bloom. Um, I should have cut it off ages ago, but I want to just double confirm that this is a supreme. I know it was labelled a supreme when I got it. Look at all the weeds. I'm so embarrassed. Um, and I really hope it blooms soon because I want to take it off and propagate it. But I really want to see its flowers. So I'll wrap this up now. But before I go, let me just show you these jelly beans. Look at the colour. Oh, I'm not sure if it picks it up well enough in the camera. But they are so pale. This is a first for me. Uh, and I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. They are just adorable. And uh, this reminds me of Janet. So I'm going to say, hi, Janet. <laughs> um, she was saying how feminine. that They just look very ladylike and feminine. And I agree. Well, that one in the back there is uh, Echeveria. Swan Lake, that's my other one. Remember, I bought two together. So I had a bit of a... Uh, a, a space there. That's because there was another succulent that didn't do too well in there, so I had to pull it out. And um, I picked that up on eBay a while ago. Uh, I'll put the name in 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 the video, but I'm pretty sure it's variegated. Uh, it's just a tiny little thing, but now it's starting to really flourish. So I'm happy about that. Okay. I am distracted because I've got one eye on this situation right there. <laughs> I have to go. I've got to get rid of him. Until it's towards the end of the day now because the sunlight's moved off that section and this is the very last section of my yarn that gets some good sunlight. Because um, it's got to be pushing on around four o'clock now, so we've got about an hour and a half before it gets dark. So I wanted to sincerely thank you all for watching again. A big hug to all my faithful followers. You guys are the reason why I keep going and doing this. And if you're new to my channel, thank you, welcome, and I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I'm getting close to my thousand subscribers. As soon as I hit that, I get monetized and I would be just wrapped. Um, so anyway, have a good one. I'll probably be back tomorrow. See you. I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also, you can find me as S's for Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page where I post daily photos with tips and information. So come and hang out with me there. It's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.